Yeah, g'day guys, it's Wayne Perkins here. I'm doing a video update here on the biological wool harvesting day that I went to in Canago in Australia about five to six weeks ago, maybe seven weeks ago. It was a really interesting day and a few people have asked me a lot of a uh, few questions about it and I thought I'd give a bit of an update as best I could. I'm actually doing this video from Alexandra in sunny central Otago, down the bottom of New Zealand. So look, I just want to start by some context. Quite a few years ago, and a lot of you farmers and sharers will know that there was a product called BioClip. So the BioClip product was an injection that you inject the sheep with and it basically made the wool fall off. Okay, so it put a, it put a break in the wool and the wool would fall off over a period of time. So, what great idea, and it, it showed a lot of promise, but it had a couple of problems. One is that the wool fell off, and of course, it would end up all over your paddock. And and that was that was no good, because you couldn't harvest it properly. And the other problem was that it would fall off and the sheep would just have bare skin. So you would not only get sunburnt, but very, very cold. So both of those factors to, to solve that issue of the wool falling off, they come up with a net that you place over the sheep, you put it over the body of the sheep, and it held the good, the vast majority of the fleece on. And then once the wool had grown out through the skin and it had like a one or two millimeter buffer outside the skin, like it had been shorn perhaps, you then took the net off the sheep and the sheep was just like it had been shorn very neatly, obviously no second cuts, and the, the fleece would come away with the net. So once again, good idea, but the problem was, you know, you had the price of the injection, then it was costly to put the net on the sheep, and then you had to take the net off the sheep, and neither of those were real easy, and you still had a lot of the wool falling off. So all up, was well trolled, they had a good go at it, it didn't work, okay, it just didn't work. And I, it was it was perhaps not as labour intensive, but it was pretty labour intensive, but it was dearer because you had a significant cost for the injection as well. I always liked the idea of the bio clip. It always made sense to me, but I could never figure out how to solve the problem of the wool falling off and the bare skin, harvesting the wool and then the bare skin. And I thought about a lot of ideas that I won't go into now. But about a year ago, I started hearing about this possible new product that they had where they, I was hearing that they could inject the sheep or feed the sheep with something. And it put a break in the wool, but the wool didn't fall off until you plucked it off. And when I first heard that, I thought, wow, you know what, that's, um, that's possibly a game changer to do that. Yeah. So I just kept asking people and hunting it down and trying to find out information. Eventually found out information. Uh, eventually talked to AWI, Australian Wool Innovation, and got put onto a couple of their people. And I, I, I let them know that we were very interested here at Perkins. It's, it's kind of something we'd like to be involved with. We're involved with, uh, obviously, the crutching of sheep with the crutch masters. We've launched their shear master. So we think we're given a pretty good option for shearing as well, for, 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 for new options for farmers for wool sheds and doing away with the catch and drag. But we're, we're heavily involved with that. So I wanted the chance to see if it was what they said, you know, was this something that here at Perkins we wanted to get involved with. So long story short, got a, found out the information from AWI. They invited us over to a field day at Canago seven or eight weeks ago, flew over there, uh, went down there and had a look at it myself because you know you can, people can tell you things and you can see photos and videos but I wanted to feel that sheep myself I wanted to try plucking that wool off myself so I could get an understanding of it so here at Perkins we could make the decision what we thought prospects were and if it was something we we wanted to be involved with so I did I, I jumped in the pen with the sheep with some other people and and I you know tipped that sheep over and I tried you know taking some of the wool off uh, this, this sheep had, had this, I'm going to call it bio peel, it had this product on it that, that put a break in the wall, tried taking some off with a, a hand piece that had been sort of changed around so it had a little roller on the front and it, it worked okay, it definitely did it, it wasn't great, but and then I plucked some of the wool off just so I could understand it myself and I can absolutely assure you the damn thing works, okay, I've got no issues that it works, I was there. I saw the sheep, I spoke to the scientists, I plucked the wool off the sheep myself. I spent a lot of time trying to understand it, understand the forces and how we could do it. So I think it's it's really exciting that there is a product out there now that will put a break in the wool. The, the wool won't fall off, but you can pluck it off. So what that means is that you can give the sheep this product and you can wait two, three, four weeks 
the ones we had were 10 weeks, so that's a long time. So they had a good layer of wool left on. So you, you give them the product and then you harvest that wool when you want to and you just need to pluck it. Okay, it's probably never going to be quite that simple, but but you can definitely just pluck the wool off. And it's a lot like plucking sheep on your old man's farm when you're a kid trying to make some pocket money. Eh? That's effectively what it's like. It doesn't take a lot of force. Okay, So the information I have from the scientists is that it takes four newtons of force per kilotex. You can look that up yourself. What I would say is like a, a very little pinch in between your finger and your thumb, very easy to pull that off. But as you have more and more of it and you try to pull off, so if you tried to pull off a handful, you won't pull it off. Okay, because there's obviously, it's, it's like strand, I guess, threads of string in a rope. You can break one st one piece of thread, but you put 20 or 30 of them together, you won't break it. Same with this here. Anyway, I was really excited with it. It was really interesting to talk to the scientists to understand a little bit about what they were doing and how they were doing it and what they thought the future was. The wool can definitely be plucked off these things. It seemed like seems like it's a very simple compound that they use. We don't know what it is yet. And what they have to do now is take it from a product where they've fed the sheep and they've caused the break in the wool, which has been very successful, but that's not a way to commercialise it. So now they need to turn that into some sort of an injection. They believe it'll probably be a palletised injection because it needs a slow release. And then we'll have to see what it does from there. Just got a couple of points I want to make. So I've got no doubt that the thing works and this is a big, big opportunity for the sheep industry, okay? If, if they can pull this off and we get it right, this will be a complete game changer to the extent, or perhaps even more to an extent than what the mechanical handpiece was. Okay? It'll give a totally, lots of different options to harvest that wool, which won't need them cut. Some of the issues that I see at the moment, there's probably two issues that I see is the length of time this could take. Is it gonna take two or three years like they are suggesting? Or will it take 10 or 15, 20 years? Will it get bogged down? You know, that that is outside of my control and I can't control. The other factor, and I think this is the single most single most crucial factor in whether or not this is a commercial reality that completely changes the game, will be the price of the injection. Okay, so they now have to turn it, they know they can do it, but they now have to turn that product they fed the sheep with, which is it just just wouldn't work on a on a large scale, because you've got to have an X amount going to each sheep. So you can't control the feed into that deer on a commercial level. So they need to take that into a commercial injection that they can put into the sheep. If it's 20 cents, if that injection ends up being 20 cents, I think this will completely change the game because that is not a lot of money. And the, the way we, we will be able to harvest that wool could be significantly different. Okay, It could be it could start off a little bit like adapted hand pieces that don't cut but pluck. And that might be how we start in existing wool sheds. And things but I also think it will very much change the way we're perhaps doing you know four five one thousand two thousand three thousand an air going through some sort of a, a brush system or a vacuum system or even a v-belt conveyor type system okay because it totally changes how we would need to take the wool off so that's that's a, that's an exciting factor that we could be faced with that's if the injection is 20 cents you know or even maybe 50 cents or a dollar but the more the injection costs the harder it's going to be because there's still going to be a cost to harvesting the wool. It's still going to be a cost. You're still going to need either people to do it or some capital capital cost of equipment to, to build whatever the, the, the great sheep plucker is. Uh, and of course, you've still got to you know, sort it and then transport it to and from the wool store or to the wool store. So if the, if the injection's five bucks, it's probably going to have limited uptake because straight away you've got five bucks then you've still got all the other costs involved with the harvest so to me the single most important factor will be the price of the injection i'm hoping it's low uh the, the lower it is the more uptake it'll have if it's if it's around the five dollars or even more you know three to five dollars it'll have limited uptake it'll have a great place for things like rams because no one wants to share rams and you're paying a lot more to get them shorn now anyway so to inject the ram and then not have to have the physical hassle of sharing it would would make absolute sense so it'll it'll have a place to play uh so look i i, I really enjoyed the the day there i learned a lot about it the product works i was really impressed with how the, the wool stays on the sheep until you decide to pluck it off and really excited about the potential for us to think completely outside the box with how we might harvest that well if that if it works i've thought for a long time 
that the sheep industry around the harvesting of wool needs its Elon Musk moment. And I think this potentially gives us, gives us that Elon Musk moment where everything we thought we knew about harvesting wool can change. And it, to me, it's dependent on the price of that injection and, and how much, how quickly we can get that out. If it takes 15 years, it's going to be too long. If we can get out in three or four years, you know. So what does the future of the wool harvesting industry look like? I don't know. I think it's very unlikely that this is going to replace shearers in my lifetime. I think like most things, it will have a, a, a slow uptake. There'll be people that use it. There'll be people that won't. It is still going to have a cost. It might be shearers retrained to to be harvesting the wool similar to what they are now but with different types of apparatus rather than a comb and a cutter uh, but i think it gives us lots of opportunities i'm really impressed with the scientists what they've done i think aw awi have done a good job of supporting them here at perkins we want to work with those scientists and with awi we're really excited about it we want to be a part of the future of wool harvesting and we've got some big ideas about how we might be uh, able to put through some some ideas that that hopefully might be successful. So hopefully it gives you a bit of an update on it. It definitely works. I think it's super exciting. It's not going to happen overnight. We'll keep working away at it. I'll keep updating as I know more and more. We're going to be heavily involved here at Perkins. We will be flying back over there again soon. I want to get to Adelaide University. We've got some ideas already about how we want to harvest that wool. And we're looking at being in boots and all. So hopefully that was interesting. Uh, feel free to give me some feedback. If you want to ask me some questions, that's fine as well. I'll answer them as best as I can. But anyway, I just want to say, I think it's exciting times. Cheers. See ya.